Hello and welcome uh, to a video. I'm going to be showing you how to create your own VPN, uh, an actual your own VPN, uh, not some service that uh, you're not basically sure uh, if the other side is actually tampering with your data or trying to uh, uh, steal your data or whatever. You're also not uh, obliged to uh, f uh, for some long-term service uh, you can run this for as long as you like but uh, if you want to run it for two minutes that's fine you will only pay for two minutes uh, the cost is, is always the same you're basically paying uh, per six seconds yeah that's like the minimum amount um, uh, we're gonna be using Akashlytics deploy software uh, developed by uh, Cloudmos IO uh, and uh, yeah uh, obviously we're gonna be using the soft eater VPN client uh, we're not gonna be covering the installation of the client or the installation of the Akashlytics deploy uh, those there, there's there's like plenty of uh, videos covering that already. So uh, we're just gonna be focusing on the VPN part. So once you have opened your Akashlytics deploy, uh, go to templates and under network, there is this soft eater VPN uh, template. Um, click on deploy. This is the SDL file. Uh, the actual image is created by one of our uh, uh, devs at the uh, Akash. So shout out to Andre. Uh, click on create deployment and deposit the five AKT that's required to be in escrow. Uh, so yeah, this this five AKT will be used for uh, fi funding the service. Um, there are plenty of providers that you can choose from. Some more, some less expensive. Uh, whichever one you choose, I'm sure you will. It will be fine. We're going to be using Europlots.com because I own it, <laughs> so we're going to be using my own provider. Um, we're going to accept the bid, approve, okay, so we're, Delis has been uh, created and uh, the container has been started so under logs we need to let this run for a few more seconds here we go what we need from here is we need to copy this uh, certificate file this is basically uh, a certificate authority uh, starting from this line where it says begin certificate and including this line and ending with the end certificate line. So copy, we need to go to a text editor. No, we also don't need this as well. Paste it here and we need to get rid of these soft eater uh, uh, text. So we need to find and replace soft eater column soft eater column space replace all so this is uh, what the certificate file needs to look like so we're gonna save this we're gonna call it europlotscrt dot uh, ca let's call it ca dot crt okay so that's one thing we need uh, and 
we can start with the uh, configuration of the client. So click on add VPN connection, give it some name, Europlots, host name. Under host name, you need to go back to your Akashlytics deploy and under leases, this URI that's being generated uh, automatically, you need to copy this. That's the part that we're going to be using as a host name. The port number 443 is uh, actually the default port that this runs on. However, the uh, Akash provider is using NAT. So the first basically forwarded port, the one that says here, uh, let me try and no, it won't let me. Never mind. So the 32056, that's the external port and it's being forwarded inside to the 443. So we need to replace the 443 with 32056. That's only in this case. Uh, your, uh, uh, your own deployment will have a different port assigned to it, but you will find it here uh, and just yeah, copy it. The virtual hub name is default, all caps. Uh, you can also find that in logs right here. That's the uh, the name of the virtual hub. Uh, next, what we need to do is manage the CA certificate list. Uh, we need to add and load certificate from a file and the one that we have created earlier the europlosca.crt that's the one we're going to be using close and all that's left to be done is enter the username and password scaling that's the username and main made dagger or the password <laughs> and that's that click on ok and we can connect Okay, actually, I'm actually going to copy and paste this here. Here we go. We have been assigned an IP address. IP config. IP config. Here we go. This is the VPN client. That's uh, a virtual uh, uh, interface created uh, when you uh, actually installed the soft eater VPN client uh, and it's, it has been assigned this IP address so we can try and ping this address this is on the other end of the tunnel so ping 192.168.30.1 uh, not 31 but 30.1 there we go so we're basically uh, pinging show you paint uh, this is us this is the provider this is the internet so we're we have created a tunnel like this yeah from here to the provider uh, and uh, 192, this is the 192.168.30.1, and our own IP address is 192.168.30.10. So basically, we, what we have done now is ping from here to here using the tunnel. Yeah. So what we can do now is uh, ping something on the internet so let's try with uh, with an IP address so this works IP address is here yeah. so the traffic is actually going like this from here to here and then out to 1111 we can try pinging uh, google.com that works as well that's also here somewhere 
Um, let me show you. Uh, let's uh, close and restart this. So check, check IP, the Indian S org, the Indian S org. This is the okay. We need to accept this continue because it's a plain HTTP. So this is the IP address of the provider itself. So the provider, uh, I guess that this address would be somewhere here. Yeah, right here. That's the public IP address of the provider. Uh, if I disconnect from disconnect and rerun, basically refresh this page. Note that notice that this address will change this right here yeah so this is the IP address the actual IP address public IP address that uh, I'm using on this link that I'm using to connect to the internet uh, yeah once I connect back again the public IP address will change What we can do is test performance. So maybe speed test.net. Let's see. Whatever, I accept. Let's see what kind of performance we're, we're going to be getting. So bear in mind that I'm on, on, on wireless right now. So I'm using my like a small home router. And yeah. As you can see, 150, 160 mega, megabits per second, 170. That's the download speed. I'm not sure I would be getting much better without the VPN. Yeah. We're going to test without the VPN. I'm really interested to see uh, the difference. Let's uh, disconnect and start the test.net. See that we are on a different provider. Let's try. Let, let's see. I'm really interested. What's the speed difference between using and not using? the VPN yeah it's it's slightly faster without the VPN but that's to be expected because the VPN uh, connection itself has some overhead uh, so yeah basically we're using full um, full speed I, I'm on again I'm on wireless uh, so yeah the speed will vary uh, and uh, the speed will max out at the uh, depending on the type of wireless and uh, the conditions, uh, uh, yeah, the electromagnetic interference from the other uh, devices, and so on, and so on. So yeah, let's compare 178 versus uh, uh, download and 120 upload versus 213 and 126 uh, this is without VPN this is with VPN so yeah these numbers are really really uh, similar to each other anyway thanks for watching uh, shout out to my buddies in uh, the Akash team shout out to Andre who actually created this image uh, I hope you found this uh, video informative. If you have liked it, please like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Uh, 